What's up everybody and welcome to another PSVR trophy guide here on CR95 Games. Today we're going to be getting all the missable trophies in the Mage's Tale, a VR dungeon crawler ported over from PC VR to PSVR. Without much further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. For our first trophy we're getting Goldilocks, craft a spell using 4 missing ingredients. So you're going to need po uh, Party, which is a spell that you get from Road to Roscoe's. So reach over and grab Party, and you're also going to need one other color and put both of those in the pot. And then look over to your left and you're gonna need two level one spells. So I'm just gonna grab triple and recharge. Drop those two in and now you've dropped in four misty ingredients. So stir it up and you got yourself a trophy. Next up is lock picker. Access the final secret room and road to Roscoe's without opening its hidden entrance. So you're going to need the bounce potion from the previous area of the sewers for this. And you're going to want to go back to Algwin's lab and put that on your fireball spell. So now you have bounce on your fireballs. So you're going to see this broken wall after you get through the first one. Pick up a bomb here and you can actually break that other barrel and get a torch out of it and use that to light the bomb. But I don't know why I wasn't doing it. Or you can do what I did. Get out of the anti-magic barrier and use a fireball. But there's the torch right there you can see actually I could have just picked that up and lit the bombs with it but I don't know I don't know maybe I just want to use a fireball anyway blow up the next wall we're gonna go through here and you're gonna see a gate and on the other side of that gate is a counterweight that's what's holding the gate up I guess <laughs> so go ahead and bounce your fire spell under the gate and hit the counterweight so that it drops it. Right, it drops it. I honestly couldn't remember if it raises it or drops it. It's it's weird. So here, just freeze three enemies. That's that's about all there is to this one. As unbelievable as it seems, it took me forever to figure out this trophy. I never noticed that that thing over there behind the green lady, that gate, is coming towards me. I just kept unlocking the cell. So don't unlock the cell when you get here. Instead, walk down here and just wait for this gate to come over there and eat you. I kept unlocking the cell as soon as I got here. So it took me six playthroughs to figure this out. Oh my goodness, it was horrible. But here you guys go. Now you can get it on your first try. So now we're going to beat the bridge combat in Green Lady's Labyrinth without leaving the chest. This is an unmissable room, so you will get here. So open the chest, and then don't step away when you respawn. Just stay right there and turn your camera as needed. I did not bring my lightning spell here for some unknown reason, but it would have been great if I did, so I highly recommend you do bring it because it goes through walls, and it will kill those enemies through the bridge that you can't actually attack with your ice, wind, and fire spells. So you can use your lightning on them and make this fight go a lot quicker. 
Without that though, it's probably going to take something five, six minutes, somewhere around there. But it's not too difficult. Just remember to use your shield to block uh, incoming attacks whenever they shoot arrows at you. And you can actually block the sword attacks like that right there as well. So that's all you need for this one. Uh, good luck. sort of enigmatic astronomical arrangement. Go on, give it a whirl. Or a hurl. Yes, a whirling hurl. So here we have to survive all the ring next traps. When you get in this first room, go down the stairs and pick up this statue. I'm sorry that I go through all of this so fast. Uh, like I said before with that other trophy, it took multiple playthroughs to figure that one out and I was just trying to get through really quick. Um, so use the statue and that'll make it so those won't attack you. When you come up these stairs, there are going to be some blades that come out of the wall. Just look at the floor. Keep your eyes on the floor and the blades will not kill you. Here you want to turn around and pick up a crystal ball and it's going to light up all these. So hit the first one, the next one, the one on the right, and then start going across. Start with the one on the left and go back across again. And then for this one, you can see we've got a lot of things on each side of us that are going to shoot some arrows at us. But ring neck up top, just look up at ring neck and use uh, your move button so that you keep walking forward and a bridge will appear under your feet as long as you have faith in ring neck. Man, we're knocking out a lot of trophies with this one. So this is a room in the crones there, can't miss it. Just make sure to pick up the pickaxe and then do a 180 and head through this door. So we're gonna be getting shoddy construction for destroying a wall with a pickaxe, which you probably got up to this point, but this is one I had in the recording, so I used it. 
Uh, then we're getting secrets within secrets. Find a secret hidden room in another secret hidden room. And then double find. Solve the two secret rooms hidden inside the secret room in the crone's lair. So you saw we got a cage right there. Then use your pickaxe and break down this wall. And you're going to see a minotaur, or not a minotaur, uh, I don't know, the Capra Demon from Dark Souls 1, whatever. Turn him to the left, counterclockwise one time, and that's going to open this door. And pick up this crystal ball here. And if you look in this um, uh, torch thing with the crystal ball, you'll see a skull. Now look in this coffin with the crystal ball, and you'll see another skull. And that's going to solve our first hidden room in the hidden room and turn around and came back the way you came from and on the opposite side of where that first capper demon was there's another one but still facing the wrong direction so let's go ahead and turn him around with a nice 180 and that's gonna open up another secret door right behind us so here's our other secret hidden room inside of two other secret hidden rooms and this is a cool puzzle actually i like this one so gotta have your crystal ball still pick up the candles and each of the candles have a symbol on them as well as each of these pedestals and you just have to match the candle symbol with the symbol on the pedestal and then put it up there after you found all four you put them up there light them with some fireballs the chest will open and bam you've got a trophy well, actually, you've got three trophies, so congratulations on that. Nice wombo combo. Rustic Delights. Read the trap tro and watch his entire performance. So, right there where that, uh, I don't know what to call it, the thing that spins with all the runes on it. If you look in here, where there's seemingly nothing in this room, there's actually a stone sticking out of the wall. So, push that in. Don't go over to your right and open that chest because you'll get attacked. Instead, go to your left and go through this door. Once you go through here, uh, two enemies are going to spawn first thing, actually. I killed them and cut them out. There was actually a skull over onto the right, but that, I cut that out for the purposes of what this video is about. It's not collectibles. So pull that candle, and then we're going to see a strength potion on our left. But what we're really here for, even though that potion is awesome and you do want to grab it, is this gear, cog, handle, lever thing. Uh, in case you can't find your way back, I went ahead and made the trek back and left it in here, but I sped it up. Hopefully you can still tell where I'm going, even though it's going so fast. Anyway, get back here, and we're going to put it in that slot that uh, we couldn't find anything to put in before. Right here where we had to uh, freeze the stone spikes on the ground. So spin that around, and that's going to open up a door right here beside us. Head through there and through this next door. And now we've entered the secret room. And over to your right is a bottle with the trap tro himself. So make sure you don't knock it on anything. You don't hit something when you turn your camera. You should really hold it up high like I did because the collision detection in this game is it's not great. And that thing will get knocked out of your hands just from you turning and it'll break the bottle and you'll lose the trophy and have to replay or restart from the last checkpoint. But that's how you get this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoy his performance a little more than I did. I, I gotta say, I was a little enthusiastic in this video. Yeah. Alright, let's go get the next one. Throwing a bottle, thought he might drown. Throwing a bottle, but he thought he might drown. Throwing a bottle, thought he might drown. Throwing a bottle, but he drank it all down. Well, that was rustic. <laughs> Thank you. 
unless you miss a trophy and you have to replay because a lot of these trophies are missable. I mean, this game's got a lot of missable trophies. But unless you miss one and have to replay, this is the one that's going to take you the longest. By far. Defeat the 99 Berserkers. So you saw we were over there where you have to use the Keyblade to unlock that next gate. Well, if you take a left from there and you go up these stairs in the Green Lady's Labyrinth, you're going to come to this mouth on the wall and another door right here. So uh, it's hard to see it, but that one that was on the left that was lit up back there, that's actually the first one I hit. It's really easy to figure that door out, though. So get through that door and keep on making your way through all these hallways, dungeon crawling, of course. Now you're going to get to this big room and I cut walking up all the stairs for you guys. So uh, what you need to do here is find these four pages on the ground like I'm picking up right here. They're actually kind of hard to see and put them right here. And then we need to find the other two pages as well as the body parts of the corpse or mummy or whatever that is there. So the four pages are just right there on each side of the corpse. And then uh, the hand is right here by this first candelabra. And then to the left is the head by another candelabra. And then the foot is actually by the right foot. Now all you need to do is light all the candles with some firewalls. Then the mouth is going to start talking to you, and you get an ensuing fight of 99 Berserkers. Uh, they seem to come in waves of 33, so three waves, and then it's going to be over. This is going to last a minute, honestly. It, it lasts a good, uh, at least five minutes, probably more. Um, in case anyone does want to watch it to see how I fought them, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I sped it up, so... It doesn't take a really long time but whenever you finish this everything is gonna light back up normal and the chest is gonna open up and that's all you need all right guys that's all the missable trophies for the mage's tale i hope i was able to help you get your platinum and if you need any help with any of the other puzzles or you need to find all the collectibles in the game to finish off your platinum i also have guides for those up on the channel and i'll try to put links uh in the description below so that you can find those they also have timestamps so that you can get to everything very quickly and very easily. And I think that's about it for this one, guys. I hope to see you in the next one. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see you guys in the next one.